Hello, you are welcome how to solve this problem. 6 raised to power x plus 6 raised to power y equals to 42. Then x plus y equals to 3. Let's call this equation 1, this equation 2. And then from equation 1, from equation 1, let's multiply both sides by 6 raised to power x. So we have 6 raised to power x times 6 raised to power x plus 6 raised to power y. Then on this side as well, we multiply by 6 raised to power x. So we have 42 multiplied by 6 raised to power x. Then from here, we can use 6 raised to power x to open this bracket. And this will be 6 raised to power x, then 6 raised to power x, then plus 6 raised to power x, then 6 raised to power y, which is equal to 42 times 6 raised to power x. And then from here, we can write this as 6 raised to power x, then square. So this is same thing as 6 raised to power 2x. Because, you know, from the law of indices, x plus x is 2x. Then, here, we have 6 raised to power x plus y. Also from the law of indices, which is equal to 42 times 6 raised to power x. Then in the next step, we have 6 raised to power x plus y. And then x plus y here from equation 2 is 3. So we can replace x plus y here as 3. Then we have 6 raised to power x squared plus 6 raised to power 3 equals to 42 times 6 raised to power x. Then we have 6 raised to power x, 6 raised to power x. Let u be equals to 6 raised to power x. Then this equation becomes u squared plus 6 raised to power 3, that's 216, then equals to 42u. Now we can take 42u to this side to form a quadratic equation. And this equation will become u squared, then minus 42u, then plus 216 equals to 0. Then we can factorize. And this will become u squared minus 36u minus 6u then plus 216 equals to 0. When we factorize this, we have this minus 36u minus 6u will give us minus 42u. Then we can group this one into and bring what is common. What is common here is u. Then we have u minus 36. Also what is common here minus 6 out. Then u minus 36 equals to 0. So u minus 36 is common. Then what is left here is u. Then minus 6 left here which is equals to 0. Then we have two cases here. We have u minus 36 equals to 0 and also we have u minus 6 equals to 0. Here from here u equals to 36 and from here, u is equal to 6. And the what we use to represent u is 6 raised to power x. That means we can bring that here and say 6 raised to power x equals to 36. And when we solve from here, we can also express 36 in base 6. And that will be 6 raised to power x equals to 6 raised to power 2. The base are equal. Therefore, x equals to 2 from here. And we can also get the corresponding value of y using equation 2, that is x plus y equals to 3. And then x is 2. So 2 here, we have 2 plus y equals to 3. And by the time we take 2 here, that means y equals to 3 minus 2, which is 1. So x equals to 2, y equals to 1 from here. Then from here, we have u is 6 raised to power x equals to 6. And that's 6 raised to power 1. Here, the base are equal. x equals to 1 from here. And by the time we use this equation, 2x plus y equals to 3. x is 1. That's 1 plus y equals to 3. 
taking one there that's y equals to 3 minus 1 that's y equals to 2 so we get y equals to 2 from here then x equals to 1 so the solution are x comma y we have the first set of solution we have x is 2 then y is 1 and also we have the second set of solution x comma y we have x is 1 then y is 2 now we can check putting this value in the equation given to confirm that we have correct solution here thank you for watching also subscribe so as not to miss out on any of our uploads see you in the next class and bye for now